I love it. Yeah, don't take my stuff. All right, people are just kind of rolling in. She's dancing. She's dancing. Good morning, everybody. We are at the Spellbinders booth here at CHA. And behind me here, I have Yana Smakula. She is a signature designer with Spellbinders. And she is going to show us the 3D shading stamps. They are kind of special. So I'm going to let Yana tell us all about it. Hello, everybody, and welcome. So what we have here are the new 3D shading stamps. Now, you might wonder, why are they called 3D shading stamps? Why you, are they called 3D shading stamps? Well, if you take a look at this <laughs> image here, uh -huh. or if you take a look at this project over here, you might notice that it's stamped using just one color of ink. You're able to see additional shades of one color. So it's not just red, mm -hmm. you have a lighter red and a darker red. Well, the way this is achieved is you have a stamp and you can take a closer look at this one here, for example. We have many different designs. So the stamp itself is made out of tiny little dots. Okay. Where the dots... Yes, I mean, you can't even really see it on camera, but it's just almost like little teeny weeny 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 dots. Yes, yes, you cannot see the dots, uh -huh. but they're there. Uh -huh. Where the dots are clustered closer together, you get the true ink that color that you use. So you get the black, where the dots are closer together. Where the dots are spread further apart, mm -hmm. you get a lighter, different shade of that same color. So a lighter gray or a lighter red. That's amazing. And you can get really cool effects, really cool, cool impressions, and you can create fantastic projects in just a simple one step. So let me show you. Oh, I love that. Show me. Okay, so here I have two stamps, uh -huh. and I'm actually going to ink up the cactus uh, scenery. Uh huh. And let's go ahead and use some nice color of ink. Let's use this. Lagoon color from Alt New. Ooh. So I'm just going to ink this up using one color of ink. And notice I'm kind of like twisting because the, because of the stamp is made out of dots. Yeah, I'm trying to get there. more color there. You don't have to do this. I mean, you can totally just tap, tap, tap. But I have found I prefer to twist to it's get a great more. Tip. Yeah, no, to absolutely. get like, you know, a higher color intensity, more vibrant colors. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close my misty. Obviously, you do not need a stamp positioner. You can use just a regular, good, old-fashioned clear block to stamp it. Okay. In fact, all of these here were stamped using a clear block. I didn't have a misty when I was doing this. I'm just going to close that, and uh -huh. I'm going to press, 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 just like with a clear block. And boom! Look mm -hmm. at that. It's really pretty. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. Yes. Uh, and I'll, I'm not sure if it's coming through on camera, but it almost looks like it's been hand drawn. It, yes, absolutely. It definitely has that kind of like graphite pencil yes. look on it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And really depending great. on what color of ink you use, mm -hmm. you're getting different effects. And it doesn't stop here. You can do oh. all sorts of different techniques. Mm -hmm. If you take a look here, I totally faked it and pretended ah! I'm a watercolor artist. <laughs> so I used distress markers. Uh -huh. I colored directly onto the stamp. Uh -huh. So I used red for the bar and then blue for the sky, green for the trees, and mm -hmm. yellow for the ground, for the sand or burned grass. I spritzed it with water, just regular water, uh -huh. and I stamped it onto watercolor paper. And of that's... course, you can also stamp it onto regular paper. I have some examples. For example, here, this one here. The same technique stamped onto regular paper. Okay, or so this water. is regular yes. cardstock and this is watercolor paper. So you can really see how the paper you're using is going to give you a different effect. Yes, yeah, so it's not just the stamp. Paper matters just as much as your stamp. So if you're not having, you know, great impressions, sometimes people say, you know, I have this stamp and I'm not happy how it's stamped. Well, try to use a different paper. Paper matters a lot. This is Arch's watercolor paper. It's the best paper for watercolor, for all things watercolor. So give it a try. Mm -hmm. Try different kinds, different brands, see what you like. Now what you can also do is here I did emboss resist. So I heat emboss the image using white or you can use clear embossing powder. And I blended the background using different co colors of ink. If you were driving this morning, you could have seen these colors in the sky. This is actually inspired by the Phoenix sky. By the Phoenix sky. You could also do it in black to make like a silhouette Absolutely. type of idea. A lot of different things you can do. We have a cactus over there with okay. additional examples. A cactus? I'll be visiting over there to get more pictures. <laughs> and go ahead. Yeah. So. Let Just me show you one more example. I'm going to go ahead design. and add some water. So I'm going to ink up my stamp using 
another ink. Mm -hmm. Just going to quickly ink it up. And again, I'm sort of like twisting a little bit to get more. I think that's the best tip. I haven't seen people do the twisty, and I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it just. Kish says, like, I can't believe you're getting this look from a stamp. Yes, so easy. It's like, literally. And just like, like that watercolor, I am not a watercolor artist. I cannot do that myself. But with this, done. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what, all we want. We want to be able to feel like what we're doing is artistic. Absolutely. Even if we haven't all gone to fine art school, yep? Yes. Gonna add some water. Okay. It always depends on how much water you add. You add a little too much, and it's mm, You add a little, not enough, and it's mm, So you gotta have the right amount. Sometimes I kind of like to count, you know, like 10 spritz or something. But then again, it depends like on the kind of, on the water bottle tool that you're using. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit. I don't know if this is enough, we'll see. We'll see. Yes. You gotta so try it out. Close my misty. That's the art in this process. Yes, gonna not press, science. press, press, and then Ooh. boom. Oh you my have gosh. to let this sit for a yeah, little you bit. Let it sit and soak in, but oh my gosh, yes. it's so juicy and pretty. Now, if you want to take this one step oh, further, I actually just tested this idea. She has just she just developed this technique just now, <laughs> just right here, right before I stepped up to the table. Yeah, in fact, she had to wait for me to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is I inked up my stamp using a lighter color of ink. Uh huh. So like, say this one. This is okay. actually one that I did. So there's a really light one. Oh, I have to uh, ask real quick. What is the price range for these? Do you know? People are wanting to know how much money they have to save up so that they okay, can... Okay, I think they start, depending on the size of the stamp, I think they start from $7.99 and they go up. I'm not 100% sure. Check your you local might, store. Yes. Okay. You might? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Very so light. The very light. This almost looks like it's sparkly. Like it's a, a uh, sparkly watercolor. Uh, yeah. Well, in fact, I didn't have a, a clean water bottle, so I used this uh, smudge spritzer from Clear Snap, and I added water. So it, there's a little bit of shimmer oh. there. So you can do that too. I mean, you can add like perfect pearls or whatever you want into your water. Yeah. But Don't dilute with just water. Dilute with the shimmer spray. Exactly. Oh. Or you can use regular water. You oh, know, you can whichever use it. works. And. Then I put it back and I waited for this to dry. Mm -hmm. I put it back into my Misty mm -hmm. and I inked up my stamp using a slightly darker color of ink. Okay. So so that I have that watercolor, but then I also have the detail. You have the so it's like it's like you're doing a two-step stamp, but it's yes. one step. Yes. So exactly. the first one kind of spreads it out and makes it kind of dreamy. Yeah. And then you redo it with a stronger color yes. that fills in the details. Yeah. Like this I one love I love it. You're not going to say, you can't see because I added even way it. too much water, but let me put this back in and try it. See, and see, you know, see I don't if it know works. if this is going to work. This is all trial and error. We're having fun. We're just having fun. This is what it's all about. I'm going to ink it up quickly. Yeah, and uh, somebody asked what size is your Misty. It looks like the stamping area is six and a half by eight and a half. Yes, this is the bigger Misty. The bigger, not the huge one, but like no. the medium size one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and then I open it up and I have that watercolor in the background and I have a little bit of detail. A little bit of detail. And again, you can use... It's still very dreamy. Yeah, you can use gray soft. ink for this. Oh, you could use two different colors. So yes. your background could be like this light green, but then go back in with a dark gray Absolutely. to fill in the details. Absolutely. Now, I would also want to share like a happy accident with you. This okay. happened this morning. <laughs> so take a look at this image. Or, or this one, for example. Yeah, that's this so one's a little better. So I did this about three weeks ago in the office when I was prepping for the show. Mm -hmm. Now I packed all of the supplies. I forgot to clean the stamp. Oh. Yes, I'm like that. I forget to clean my stamp. So I did not clean it. So there was still some ink residue on the stamp. And I, when I got in here this morning, I used a very light ink color. I think I used this one, Mountain Mist, but I mean like any light color of ink. Mm -hmm. And I inked up my stamp and I stamped it onto paper. But because they had some leftover marker color, wow. I was able to get that other hue, sort of. Yeah. So happy accident. I'm yeah. like, wow. And I, I think I stamped it like about five times. People were stepping by and asking if they could have one. I'm like, absolutely. So pretty. I have to show you this one too. So here's another kind of watercolory effect D done with markers, yes. I'm guessing. Done uh, with the distress markers. markers. Little yes. spritz of water. So very pretty. Yana, thank you so much for your time. Thank We're you. We're going to go ahead and uh, visit some of the stamps in your section. Do you, do you know how many designs there are right now ish? 
I think around 50. Around 50? There were a lot a lot of designs for Christmas. Wow. We had a beautiful holly and berries. But there's a video on Spellbinding YouTube channel that I did uh -huh. with like a Christmas card where oh. I did the background using the stamp and a focal point using the exact same stamp. So if you want to check it out. And are these available now in stores or are they coming out I later? I think they are available right now. I could be wrong. And if not, ask for them. Exactly. <laughs> Go and ask your local store to stock these. You're going to okay. love them. <laughs> Thank you, Yana. You're Thank lovely. You. Have a good day. You too. Good morning.